All right, guys, welcome to another episode on my YouTube channel where we're going over the uh, 2021 MT-09 base model. And we're going to go over this uh, rear fender homemade delete that I did. Now, I've had some people ask me some requests on how I did this. Now, let me just be honest with you. This here is just temporary. I'm sorry for the dirt. I was riding yesterday. But this here is just temporary. I just did this because I didn't want this gaping hole. As you can see, it rained yesterday when I was riding and I got a little dirt up here. What's up, man? What's up, bro? So back to what I was going at originally. Sorry, I had the neighbor come over. Um, so this is where I mounted the plate. As you can see, these are two factory screws and under these screws are actually rubber grommets that are from the bike. So in other words, like this plate being here is not gonna scratch up the plastic. It's, if, if you look really closely, which is hard, it's not even touching the fairing that's here. So this plastic is totally not even being touched. You can see back here, I mean, it's just hanging on there. And, and as you can see from the side right here, it has those rubber grommets. So what I did was I just took these screws out and then let me show you this other plate that I got. Sorry for the mess. So what I did was uh, I got a drill and all I did was just open up this hole a little bit because in Florida, it, the Florida plates just have this one hole. I see in other states where the hole is kind of like elongated this way. So you got some wiggle room from side to side, but in Florida, they just, they're pre-drilled just like that. So all I did was I got a drill bit. I drilled it in here, made this hole, you know, sorry about that. Made that hole just a little bigger. And then basically just, just put it in here. Now I did curve the plate because in Florida, this down here is like a thousand dollar ticket, believe it or not. And if they cannot see the plate from the road or from behind you, you're going to get a ticket. So what I did was I bent the plate and all I did was I just got this, uh, it's kind of like, I just got this two by four and I just laid it on the floor and I put the plate on there and I just, just, you know, I put the plate across this way and I just barely bent it up to give it a little angle. And that's how I was able to, uh, get this like curved, you know, this curvedness here on the, on the, on the plate. So that way it's visible from the back. Now these lights that are back here, this is us temporary because TST is actually already developing a, de a, a delete bracket for this, a delete plate and a tidy tail that's actually going to bolt on to these. He was explaining to me how it's going to work. So this is just temporary, but I hate the fact that that big old well tail was sticking way out here and I hated the fact that this opening could have potentially got water in it. As you can see, there's dirt in here from yesterday riding. It started raining a little bit. So I just temporarily put these lights on them. These lights are actually from New Rage Cycle. And I just used the hole down here on the plate to just screw these in and hold it on. And I just fished the wire. There's a little space through here. I fished the wire right through here. It actually came up right here. And just temporarily, I just spliced it and twisted it to the factory clip that was on the OEM light. And like I said, this is just temporary. So don't judge me because I normally do not do things like this, but that thing is fixing to come out pretty soon. So I don't want to put a lot of energy in that. I just want it to function. So those lights actually came off of this R1. They were the new Rage Cycle front mirror delete. And so originally when I got the R1, which I love this bike, but originally when I got the R1, I took the mirrors off, but I wanted blinkers. So I bought those new rate cycle mirrors for the R1 and I put them here, but I got bar end mirrors. I dropped the bike one time. Luckily nothing happened to it, but the mirror snap broke and it broke actually my, my clip and my throttle tube. And after that, I was like, okay, no more bar and mirrors. I'm gonna go back to these stock ones. Cause if this falls, it's just gonna, it's just gonna come in and hopefully these bar ends or oh, the frame sliders will do the job and actually this frame slider did do the job and all i did was go to tst and order another cap and put it on and it's good to go um so that's why these are back here so i'm gonna show you what they look like um 
So, you know, are they visible at night? Yeah, I mean, they're kind of visible. I mean, definitely from behind me, you can see there's some flashing going on. It looks better at night in the daytime. Probably not the best setup, but I do hand signals. But like I said, this is just temporary. Uh, this down here is actually a little tricky, but not too bad. So I got four screws here that actually go through the bike. And under this bracket here, when you pick it up, you actually see the screws. And I just use little bolts. There's four, one, two, three, four. It's actually under this. There's one right here, actually. If you look closely, there's one. And then there's the other right here. So they come, you know, through and hold it. But what I did was, I may have it down here. I don't remember what I did with it. Hold on. Let's see if I can find that plexiglass. Uh, oh, here we go. So this is a plexiglass I bought. I got this at Home Depot. I'm sure you get a hardware store. I took this bracket off completely, okay? And I actually took a flashlight and just kind of shined it through here on the top. And all I did was I put this clear plastic plexiglass right here. And with this sheet off, with this like, you know, with actually this film off, it's pretty clear. With a Sharpie, I just traced this shape onto here. So I held it up like this and with a Sharpie just traced out the shape and it gave, it looked like this put on here and then I used the Dremel tool and all I did was just cut out the trace that I made sanded it down a few times made sure it fit drilled my holes and then spray painted it matte black and then reattached it I made the keyhole for the center excuse me I made the keyhole for the center just so I could still have the functionality of the key it's not the greatest I got to kind of wiggle in there but it works for now and I can stick the key in and I still have access to my uh, uh, to take off the rear seat if I need to and that's pretty much how I did this not the best video but I should have did it beforehand but honestly I wasn't really thinking about making a YouTube on all these parts but I had so many requests for how I set this up that I just wanted to explain it really quick so either way plexiglass flat matte flat black paint and I just did this little grommet here. I got this thing from like electrical department. It's a grommet for actually like a circuit panel breaker. So I just fit it in there. And it's like I said, it's just to keep the water out. And then that's how I did it. So this is kind of like my, my quick fix until uh, TST comes out with a way better design, which I know they will. They've already told me they're working on it. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be amazing once it's done so yeah so there's basically how it looks from the back obviously if you see if you're from behind me you can see the whole plate pretty easy and that's what we need especially in florida you can see on the r1 it's the same way so there you go anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video my quick video and I'll catch you on the next one.